Welcome to the ABC of the Animal Kingdom. Cat Special. As a recessive gene in the Abyssinian breed, long-haired Abyssinian have been showing up for decades, if not longer. The first known long-haired Abyssinian, named Rabi Chuffa of Selene, appeared in America in 1953. For a long time, the long-haired kittens were disavowed by Abyssinian breeders. However, some breeders were intrigued and continued to breed the long-haired Abyssinian. How the long-haired gene was first introduced into the Abyssinian bloodline is a matter of much debate and speculation. But what is not up for debate is that it was an American named Evelyn Meg, who gave the Somali breed its name, and made the first strides at getting the cat recognized as a separate breed by cat fancier clubs. Something that was achieved in 1979, when the breed was recognized by the CFA in North America. By 1991, the breed was broadly, though not universally, accepted internationally. The first Somali recognized as such by a fancier organization was Mailing Tutsuda. The Somali is a wild-looking cat, built on athletic lines with a muscular build. It has a moderate wedge-shaped head and large almond-shaped eyes. Eyes may be gold, amber, or green. The pigment around the eye should be dark, giving the impression of eyeliner surrounded by a much lighter cream giving the cat a very striking, appealing look. They have large ears that sit tilted forward, giving them an alert, aware look, as if it is always paying attention to everything. Paws are neat ovals, with some tufting between the toes, and the tail is long with a generous plume of fur. The Somali is a semi-long-haired cat, with fur lying shorter and closer on the body, and longer around the neck, legs, and tail. The fur is soft without being woolly. The coloring of the Somali is unique, since they inherited the ticking of the Abyssinian cat. The color on the body softens and lightens under the neck, on the underside, and the insides of the legs. Most Somalis are found in the ruddy or orange-slash-red color range, which along with their bushy tails, has caused people to nickname them fox cats. Somalis are medium-sized cats, weighing from 6 to 10 pounds. They have a life expectancy between 11 and 16 years. Required level of physical activity is high. Somali cats have soft, silky coats that require regular brushing to maintain. Brush your Somali once or twice a week, not only for keeping them free from tangles, but also to check through the coat and to spot any injuries or parasites. Somali cats enjoy being groomed, which makes the job much easier for you. Establishing a weekly grooming routine is a sensible practice and helps with bonding and quality time together. Somalis have relatively high exercise needs compared to other cat breeds. Play with them multiple times a day to help them get their energy out. Provide toys that allow them to hunt, chase and bite. Toys that break open to reveal food will go down very well. The typical things on strings are popular but ensure you have a variety, for which you can resort to DIY or do-it-yourself toys. If you are feeling adventurous, you can even take your Somali cat on leashed walks. Somalis love the outdoors and spending time with their humans, so this is a win-win. Because Somali cats are so intelligent and eager to exercise, they are easily trained. They are known to play fetch on occasion and learn fun tricks, like sitting and staying. With regular exercise and training sessions to tire out their minds and bodies, Somalis are less likely to get into trouble in the house. Somali cats are active and playful. If you are looking for a social cat with a wild look and curious personality, consider the Somali cat. They do best with someone who spends most of their time at home. They can be mischievous, so make sure you are prepared before deciding to get one as a pet. Somalis are very like their Abyssinian relatives, a cat involved in everything, brilliant at climbing, jumping, and very demanding of owner's time and affection. Somalis love people and other animals. Somalis are social cats and like to have some company. They will play with their toys for hours, but also enjoy a good time of interactive play with their parents. Unlike cats like the Burmese, the Somalis are not that vocally. Like the Abyssinians, they will try to achieve their objective with a soft and quiet voice, rather than something akin to the traditional meow. 
Somalis are adaptable throughout their lives and fit well into any home where they are loved and given plenty of attention. If left to its own devices, the Somali may well dismantle the house in its search for something interesting to do. Most Somali cats are happy and healthy, but there are a few hereditary diseases they are prone to. Like some Abyssinian cats, Somalis may develop a hereditary health issue called pyruvate kinase deficiency. It is a condition in which red blood cells break down faster than they should. It can lead to anemia. Although blood transfusions can save lives, there is no per se treatment for pyruvate kinase deficiency. Somalis may also be prone to an eye condition, progressive retinal atrophy, PRA. This recessive hereditary disease presents symptoms from the second year of life, even though it may take up to six years to appear. Last but not least, renal amyloidosis. It is a heritable disease that occurs when a type of protein called amyloid is deposited in body organs, primarily the kidneys. It eventually leads to kidney failure. As with every single cat, they need vaccinations, antiparasitic controls, and periodic veterinary checkups to keep it healthy and prevent contagious diseases of an infectious or parasitic type. If you love dogs and cats as much as we do, stay tuned on Sundays. We will also post new videos about wild animals and insects every Thursday. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell, so you do not miss any of our incredible videos.